What's up guys? Welcome to GoGo Motoring YouTube channel. So in this today's quick video, I'm going to show you first how to reset the service lights on your E90, E92 BMW 3 Series. And then when I'm done doing that, I'm going to show you what you should not try to reset um, on your own in order to avoid the problems I'm going to talk about. Okay. So to show you um, how to reset the lights, the service lights on your E90 BMW 3 Series, such as, you know, reset the oil, oil change service line, brake fluid, um, service light, etc. The way to do that is um, you take the key right here and you put the key in the key fob, okay? And then without putting your foot on the brake, make sure your, you know, um, your parking brake's on so you, you, don't, you don't roll through and everything like that. But uh, you, you put the key fob in there and then without putting your foot on the brake, you push the start button right here one time, okay? And when you do that, next thing that you're gonna do, now ignore this for a second, I'll talk about that in just, just a minute. So once you push the start button, then over here where the uh, odometer reset button is, just push and hold that, okay? And you're gonna see this triangle come up. And then what you can do is on your stock right here, you can just sort of toggle between different things that you can reset. Um, and then whenever you find you know, what, uh, the icon that you're trying to reset, then you just hold this BC button, you hold it to reset it, okay? So for oil, a brake fluid, um, I think those are spark plugs, front, brake pads, your rear brake pads. Um, I don't know what that one means. Air filter, uh, general service checkup, oil, etc. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got a yellow um, exclamation point on my brake pads, and that's what the second part of this video is about. So specifically, um, I was, uh, I ended up getting the icon to change my brake fluid. That was supposed to happen this month, 2022. Um, and I decided to reset that service icon because I'm in the process of, uh, I wanna need to be changing my brake pads in the near future. So I went through the process that I just outlined um, and ended up uh, resetting that. But where I made a mistake was, let's see, this is not, uh, um, where I made the mistake is I try to reset the buttons for the, or the, the service lights for the brake pads. The reason I did that is because I know the rear brake pads need to be changed in the next 1600 miles. The front brake pads have a little bit more um, life left in them, I think 10,000 miles, but um, I just decided to go ahead and try to reset that. Big mistake, don't do that, especially if your brake pads are running low because what ends up happening is when you replace the brake pads, you're also supposed to uh, break your, um, you're also you're also supposed to replace your brake sensors, which obviously I didn't do. So when I try to reset these brake pads, let me show you this. Like I try to do it like this. Well, let me try this again. Taking too long. So, hey, what's up, guys? Kind of get that restarted. So again, all right, so when I try to reset the brake pads, See, you won't reset the brake pads. And what you see there is you see those triangles, those lines there without the mileage there. Try to do that with the rear ones. It's not doing that either. So I basically can't reset the brake pads because I think what's happening is because I didn't change the brake sensors and I didn't change the brake pads, when I try to reset it, um, it truly, the, the car kind of gets confused because there's no new brake sensors, there's no new, new brake pads, so the car doesn't understand what I'm trying to 
reset it. And then what ends up happening is if you go try to turn the car on, like I'm doing right here, you, know, you can get rid of these, these things. What, what's gonna end up happening is you're still gonna end up having this triangle and a warning light and you have this brake light that doesn't go away. So like, even if I take off my parking brake, the brake light still stays on. And then when I turn the car off, I get that icon saying that I need to go ahead and get the car serviced because the car thinks there's something wrong with the brakes and it's a hazard. So long story short, if your brake pads need to be replaced anytime soon, don't go through the service icon reset procedure that I outlined earlier in the video. Uh, instead, wait to get your brake, plat, brake pads replaced, get your brake sensors replaced, um, and then that'll take care of it. All right, guys, hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more videos.